Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. That was a little sharp, sorry. Welcome back to my channel. I am in Sparks Simon's Daily Rambles. Uh, today we're doing Season 4, Episode 17 of The Flash called Lose Yourself. And we saw with Barry and Ralph check evidence on bus. <coughs> we'll check for evidence on bus. Then Ralph uh, uh, says that he wants to off devote, but Barry says no, Barry, you, got to, you just got to find another way. I know you're scared and stuff, but you just got to believe that we can do it without doing that. And then they found something, basically like a whole imprint of the guy that they're supposed to find, and then Ralph remembered him, and basically like he actually paid for his fare on the bus. Because Ralph was a little drunk and didn't get have any money or whatever. Then um, Harry calls them in, and then basically he created a sound wave device and it shows a demonstration of how it works. It's basically like a big tuning fork that can literally hurt you real bad, and he calls it a sonic scepter. Then Joe is getting a little concerned about Wells and. Just everything that's happening with that. And then we have Caitlin that's working on activating Killer Frost without Cisco and Will's traumatizing her. And then we cut to where DeVoe um, appears because they were running an algorithm that Will's did through his thinking cap. But it was not DeVoe, it was the guy they're looking for, Gauss. And it turns out he has a pocket dimension of his own. And then Wells has an idea and then gets a little irrational about it. Starts to talk a little crazy pants about it, which is not good. Then Joe talks to Wells and he thinks he's getting like addicted to the thinking cat, which he kind of is. And uh, Wells says not to worry about it. And Joe says he believes him, but not really because um, he walked away and so I'm going back into the uh, temporal room. And then we have Ralph and Barry and Caitlin are at a hippie camp. And Ralph and Barry talk again about Deva and making the hard call. And Barry says, like, I know you're scared, but we just got to find another way. And then I keep down Gauss. And then they wanted to talk to him. And then a samurai comes up and literally stabs Caitlin and sends her flying. And then, um... Then we cut to where um, Barry takes her to Star Labs and she's going to be fine because Killer Frost kind of um, healed her up. And then we have Ralph is getting annoyed by not making the hard call because he wants to just go ahead and do it and save the other metas and everything else. And then we have Gauss talks to Ralph and then he talks about being in DeVos a layer, how he kind of got her by accident and explored a little bit. And then he kind of pieced out. And then uh, we have Cisco is doing a Star Trek impression and working on a replica. And then Wells comes in, like, tearing the room apart, looking for his thinking cap. And then confronts Cisco and super nasty to him. Like, going, like, bat crazy on him. And it turns out uh, that Joe actually took it. And then uh, he goes back, but says, like, look, you need to take a good, hard, long look at yourself and just work through your issue. And, like, if you, you know, basically try to get an ultimatum, and it kind of works. And then have Barry bust Ralph, because Ralph wanted to use the guy to get into the lair. But uh, Barry busts him and knocks him out. And then, uh, Ralph, then Ralph um, is awake, and then they, um, Barry talks to him, and basically, Barry doesn't get where Ralph is coming from, so Ralph explains it by saying, like, I'm not doing this, I'm doing this to save the team, because the team is like my family, besides my mom. And so, he says, like, I don't want to lose the family. And so, um... Ralph kind of gets benched, and then the team is actually is going to go to his lair. But DeVoe's not there. It's a hologram, and DeVoe came into Star Labs when they came out, when they went in. And so, um, Earth gets, um, so basically they are at Star Labs, and they lock it down through the technology part, um, meta that they absorbed. 
And so uh, Iris manages to get them out thanks to his floating earring. And then we have Joe versus Samurai, then DeVoe versus Ralph, and basically it's like a dinosaur on him. They have the Mechanic versus Iris. And then we have um, Harry Powers, the Thinking Cat with Dark Matter. Then Ralph um, with the dinosaur, he managed to knock all the bones out of it. Because uh, it, it was a, I guess a rep, not a replica, it was the fossils. So he knocked out the fossils. And then uh, they have DeVoe took over the meadows. And then we have Ralph fights back and managed to uh, use the sonic device on him. Then we have Iris uh, stabbed herself to send the mechanic back, which was a, a badass move by her. Oh my god. Then Ralph arrested him, but he breaks out because of his um, powers of technology. And then absorbs Ralph. Then Healer kills the team and absorbs Caitlyn's Killer Frost. So she can no longer be Killer Frost. And then we have Barry is upset, then Caitlyn is upset, and then that's when um, they discover there's no more dark matter in her system, so there's no more Killer Frost. Then we have Barry at Ralph's apartment cleaning it up, and then Iris comes to talk to him, but he basically just tells her to back off. Then DeVoe is back. He basically transports himself back into the, um, himself, uh, thanks to Ralph, and then... Um, Turns out Ralph is also immune to his um, body getting uh, shutting down because of his expanding brain. And then, so Dark Matter, and then shows her the plans that they're about to do, and that was the end of the episode. <sighs> what a crazy episode. I'll probably will get this at. Uh, I'll just give this another A+. Plus. I really did enjoy this episode. I really did. And, uh, yeah, I like how Gauss was way even funnier than Ralph is. I think that the way they balance the comedy in the show, I think, is really well done. Like I was saying with uh, last night's episode, Supergirl. I feel like they do a very good job of doing that. And just it was just a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. And I'm very just very interested in interested to see what they do with Caitlyn because I think that's going to be um, really weird for her not to have Killer Frost anymore and for her how she's going to react to that and what she's going to do. So anyway, um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I am super tired. I actually worked like 10 hours a day so I'm going to keep this kind of short and sweet. So anyway, um, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below and subscribe. If you have any other suggestions, also let me know down below. Or is it a TV show, music, or a movie? And I'll be rolling out the other Marvel movies. I've been watching them. I'm doing reviews for them soon. And they'll be up soon. And I'm going to try to get back to doing music too. Anyway, mini update. So anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.